Yeshayahu, Isaiah 37. And it came to pass, when King Yekezekiahu heard it, that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth, and went into the house of Yahor. And he sent Eliakim, who was over the household, and Shevna the scribe, and the elders of the priests covered with sackcloth, unto El Yeshayahu the prophet, the son of Amos. And they said unto him, Thus says Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble, and of rebuke, and of blasphemy. For the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. It may be Yahuwah Eloheka will hear the words of Rav Shake, whom the king of Asher, his Adonai, has sent to reproach the living Elohim, and will reprove the words which Yahuwah Eloheka has heard. Wherefore, lift up your prayer for the remnant that is left. So the servants of King Yekezekiahu came to Yeshayahu. And Yeshayahu said unto them, Thus shall ye say unto your Adonai, Thus says Yehoah, Be not afraid of the words that you have heard, wherewith the servants of the king of Asher have blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon him, and he shall hear a rumor, and return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So Rav Shake returned, and found the king of Asher warring against Livna, for he had heard that he was departed from Lachish. And he heard say concerning Tirhaka, king of Cush, He is come forth to make war with you. And when he heard it, he sent messengers to Yahu, saying, Thus shall ye speak to Yahu, king of Yehuda, saying, Let not your Elohim, in whom you trust, deceive you, saying, Yerushalayim shall not be given into the hand of the king of Asher. Behold, you have heard what the kings of Asher have done to all lands by destroying them utterly, and shall you be delivered? Have the Eloi of the nations delivered them which my fathers have destroyed, as Gozen, and Haran, and Retzeph, and the children of Eden, which were in Telaasa? Where is the king of Kamath, and the king of Arpad, and the king of the city of Savaryaim, Hena, and Ava? And Yahu received the sephir from the hand of the messengers, and read it. And Yahu went up unto the house of Yahuwah and spread it before Yahuwah. And Yahu prayed unto El Yahuwah, saying, O Yahuwah to Sevaah, the Elohi of Yasharel, that dwell between the Keruvim, you are the Elohim, even you alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made the heavens and the earth. Incline your ear, O Yahuwah, and hear, open your eyes, O Yahuwah, and see, and hear all the words of Sankari, which has sent to reproach the living Elohim. Of a truth, Yahuwah, the kings of Asher, have laid waste all the nations and their countries, and have cast their Elohim into the fire. For they were no Elohim, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone, Therefore they have destroyed them. Now therefore, O Yahuwah Eloheinu, save us from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you are Yahuwah, even you only. Then Yeshayahu, the son of Amos, sent unto Yahu, saying, Thus says Yahuwah Elohi of Yasharel, Whereas you have prayed to me against Sankarib, king of Asher, this is the word which Yahuwah has spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Tision, has despised you and laughed you to scorn. The daughter of Yerushalayim 
has shaken her head at you? Whom have you reproached and blasphemed? And against whom have you exalted your voice and lifted up your eyes on high, even against the Holy One of Yasharel? By your servants have you reproached Adonai and have said, By the multitude of my chariots am I come up to the height of the mountains, to the sides of Lebanon, and I will cut down the tall cedars thereof, and the choice fir trees thereof, and I will enter into the height of his border, and the forests of his carmel. I have dug and drunk water, and with the sole of my feet have I dried up all the rivers of the besieged places. Have you not heard long ago how I have done it, and of ancient times that I have formed it? Now have I brought it to pass, that you should be to lay waste defense cities into ruinous heats. Therefore their inhabitants were of small power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field, and as the green herb, as the grass on the housetops, and as grain blasted before it be grown up. But I know your abode, and your going out, and your coming in, and your rage against me. Because your rage against me, and your tumult, is come up into my ears, therefore will I put my hook in your nose, and my bridle in your lips, and I will turn you back by the way by which you came. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall eat this year such as grows of itself, and the second year that which springs up of the same. And in the third year sow ye, and reap, and plant vineyards, and eat the fruit thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Yehuda shall again take root downward, and bear fruit upward. For out of Yerushalayim shall go forth a remnant, and they that escape out of Mount to Sion, the zeal of Yahuwah to Sevaot, shall do this. Therefore thus says Yahuwah concerning the king of Asher, He shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shields, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come into this city, says Yahuwah. For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake, and for my servant David's sake. Then the angel of Yahuwah went forth, and smote in the camp of the Asherim a hundred and fourscore and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. So Sankarib king of Asher departed, and went and returned, and dwelt at Nineveh. And it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the house of Nisroch, his Elohim, that Adrimelech and Shar-Etzer, his sons, smote him with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Ararat, and Esarchadon, his son, reigned in his stead. 